you are a pharmacist by profession, mm -hmm. then you became an author, and then finally you, you are now an entrepreneur. So, oh, I mean, why? I mean, what, what actually inspired you from your profession to take a diversion be an author? So, being a pharmacist, I've been working for a long time in the pharmacy and I have a traveling position in the pharmacy. So while my travels, I use it for reading books. And as it is said that if you read a hundred books, the next one you write, read, you say, hey, I can do better than that. Better than that, yeah. So I ended up writing a book, mm -hmm. and that's called Become Remarkable Now. Become Remarkable Now, yeah. It, so then after author, then you started a venture. So mm -hmm. what's the idea behind this venture? And Right. So what happened is when you write a book, so obviously you are going to get a lot of questions. Uh -huh. And you'll be sitting like this in an interview setup. <laughs> Though there are so many things we do, we have it available by which we can make it available. But the most important part of communication, those are the skills where you want to go and put your hands in there just like you jump in the water and you want to get in. You want to really get in front of the audience. You want to see their expressions live. And that's the real joy of learning as well as there is no other alternative. There is no option. I mean, like a people, uh, a person who is in that field would tell people would connect much better than me. You know, yeah. it's like that's the reason maths. Uh, you they ask you to practice maths and not read maths. That's right. Yeah. Because if you read and at the end, it's like you forget everything. Would be yeah. bounces. Yes, absolutely. So that's the reason always.